Emotional Banter Podcast with Paul and Jettis. People, what the fuck is happening? Welcome to the General Banter Podcast. It's uh, it's November, by Christ. It's the 3rd of November, 2020. It's No Nut November. Who the fuck invented No Nut November? Is that still a thing? Who made that up? Someone's got, you know, like, I'll get what? No Nut November. Imagine, imagine going like, that's it. I've been, I've been fucking around too much. I don't know how, because it's COVID. And it's time for me to go through a month of abstinence. Hold back from, bu- imagine you got to like, how many days are in November? 30, 30? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Niall has a microphone today on request from the Patreon people. So that's, you know, we'll, we'll have a, we'll have a beatboxing competition in a minute. But, um, yeah, imagine getting to like the 28th of November and you're like, I have not bust a nut yet. And then you die of COVID. Can you imagine, like, your last your last month was just, like, heat, like, hauling around these giant nuts that are just full of jizz. Really, like, ah, oh, just <laughs> really sacrificing. See if I can get through it mentally. And then they're just like, ah, COVID dead. And you're just lying there being like, I'm too weak to pull one off. I just wish I had enough energy. And breath in my lungs to reach down and fucking ring one out for a final death. <laughs> Dead. Nightmare. No, not November. Right, let's get through some sponsors. We'll, we'll play like a cool bit of jazzy music behind the sponsors so that people know when to turn them off. <laughs> sure, we will. Uh, our main sponsor today is uh, Manscaped.com. Um, of course, they're all laid out here beautifully by Niall. You know, this is the full range. This is the CBD. We'll get to that later. Manscaped, of course, the world's premier bag shaving equipment. If you want to treat your partner for Christmas with a pristine shaft and bag, uh, get one of these. Um, Comes with a range of products there. You got the ball toner, which in case you've scraped your nuts to death, you can um, you can revive them there with this cream. And there's also a ball deodorant there. So you're not walking around with the old, you know, garlic vinegar nuts over the Christmas period. Uh, but yeah, they've got, if you look at it there, it's got, you know, it's got a fucking plastic blade on the back, which means it's not got two metal blades just chopping away, which is, you know, you might as well be fucking trying to trim your nuts in a, in a, in a fucking food processor. This one's like, it's, got, it's even got a light on it. That's how much they trust this, pro- this product. They're like, if you're ashamed of shaving your nuts in public, you can do it under your quilt in your own bed in the dark. Mmm. You know, people are like, are they saying they're dildoing his ass? It's a call back to an old podcast. Saying they're dildoing his ass. And they whip back the thing and you've just got your fucking scrote pulled out. Right out and you're taut and you're just going, hmm, digging into it. Because you can dig into it freely. Because you're not going to cut the fucking thing. But it would make a lovely present. You know what I mean? If you're dropping hints to your partner, listen, it's getting a bit bushy down there. Here's, I got you this for Christmas. You know, how'd you get it? It's quite expensive. No, it's not. I was listening to Colin Geddes' podcast and I went on the website and used the code GENBANT1 and I got 20% off this beautiful device. So let's go into that new year, you know, COVID-free and pube-free, is what I'm saying. So that's the deal. Obviously, you guys get 20% off and we, we joked about it last week, but, you know, you shave that bush off, you, you, you save 20% on the price, but you gain 20% on the deck length. And that's pure science, Okay. So yeah, shout out to manscaped.com. And uh, the other sponsor this week is colingales.com. I've decided. I've decided I'm going to sponsor my own podcast. If you want to get on colingales.com, full line of merch is is being sold at the minute. Uh, there was orders of motherfucking flying out last week. My sister was in here packing. And uh, there was tons of them. Tons of stuff. Um, so the, Some things are sold out. The hats are sold out. The jumpers are getting there. Uh, so, But get it while you can. And... Um, We've got more stuff coming, more coffee cups, more sort of gift things for the Christmas period. Got cups coming, um, black and green by fuck. Got new beanies coming, pink. Got a camel coloured one, you know. Don't know why they couldn't have just called it sort of light brown. We'll get a camel coloured one, but yeah. And uh, I should, yeah, out of the decency, out of a bit of, de- to show a bit of decency, I should, I should have a fucking discount code for the Patreon people, shouldn't I? I will sort that out. And here's what you do, if you're on the Patreon, if you pay to be in the Patreon, just keep that fucking code. Don't be running around telling your whole street. Lillian! <laughs> do you want t- fucking 20% off any Colin Gallus' general apparel? Nah, I'm alright. 
No sweat. Merry Christmas. Any plans? You're like, nah, I'm just going to drink two or three bottles of Advocat. Still don't know what it is. Joke about it every week. Uh, so yeah, get on the website. Um, we've got our, another sponsor. We'll mention that later at a, at a more pivotal point in the podcast. Um, so there was no bonus podcast last week because you know what I mean. T- times are, I, can, I don't know how many times we're going to come on here and be like, life is a nightmare for me at the minute. You know what I mean? Uh, we're doing fucking hospital runs all the fucking time. Got a, Maureen's tired from treatment. You know, she's back in getting chemo. Yeah. Shout out to 2020. Okay, she comes home, she's fucking knackered. We've got a baby who now is, is I mean, it's literally like if someone went, I got you a present, and you're like, what is it? And they're like, it's sort of like a 15-month-old, or it's like, it's, it's like a juvenile bear we've got you. And when they just let it loose in the house. And he's just fucking eating things, pulling it down. We'll, 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 he's like a magnet to the most dangerous thing in the house. You know, you're like, oh, we've locked all the cupboards and whatever. And... Uh, you know, he's crawling around the living room and you're just like, where did you get, you know, a Stanley knife? Just random items I didn't even know I had. You know, be careful with put these things on the corners so you don't bang your head. And you're like, what have you got there? A rivet gun? Where are you getting this shit? You know, play with that. Be careful. Oh, don't climb up on that. You'll fall over. What's that? You've got ninja stars? I don't know what the fuck's going on. So there's no bonus podcast, but what I did do was um, I was down in the office tidying and I was like, I'm going to record at home. I'll take some I'll take some rudimentary stuff home and uh, brought it all home, had all the best intentions and uh, sure enough, forgot an XLR lead. So that went to shit. So here we are. We're dealing with this podcast and we'll do another one later in the week. So uh, I thought I would start the podcast by um, just making making excuses. And I'll tell you how much of a fucking, how frustrated it was. You know, I, I spiral out pretty quickly. If I don't get, if I have a list of things to do and there's, I'm, I'm not one of these guys where I'm like, that's cool. Adapt, evolve, adapt, whatever. No, there's none of that. Mine is, I was going to do these things and then I'm 10 minutes late. So let's fucking burn the building down. Fuck all this shit. You know what I nearly did yesterday? Did I tell you this? What? Nearly bought a Rolex. That's how fucking, I, I, was, I was like, well, fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. You know, I can't. <laughs> it was a Rolex Explorer 2, which is like, here's the thing, right? I've, I, I love watches. I like looking at them. I've got, a, I've got this weird taste in things where I'm like, I don't, I don't want it to be fancy. I don't like, fa- I know I'm not walking around in a tux going, look at this leather band, beautiful little watch. Can you, you pulling up a picture of it there? This uh, the black face one. Yeah, it's nice. So there are very few watches. You know, I like, I like Seiko. I like things like that where it's like reasonably priced really really tough and durable but quite good you know what i mean i like things to be like oh that's a nice watch but then also you know i can go deep sea diving i'll never do that i like them to be practical but also good and uh but there are a few where i'm like if if it was dishing out cash that's the one i would have and there's a few of them there's maybe only a handful like you know maybe like a speedmaster at some point uh and then the, the Rolex Explorer too. I just like the look of it. You know, it doesn't look solid. It looks like a fucking solid watch. And uh, Prince Harry has one. Shout out. <laughs> the white one. And I've seen it online. It, shout out to Pride and Pinion. I've been going back and forth with him, uh, chatting about watches. And I, he put the he was holding two of them, the white one and the black one. I was like, oh man, that is fucking tidy. That is, that's nice. Now, no, no, everyone hates it. Typical of my taste. Everyone fucking hates them. It's like when I was running around going, oh, who's got, where could I get a CLA 45 with the fuck, you know, the estate with the pointy lights? Can't buy them anywhere. Everyone hates them, but I like them. Same with this watch. You know, I was like, oh, I fucking like that. Show it to a few mates and they're like, ugh. Wouldn't spend money on that fucking heap of shit. Uh, but fuck those guys. Um, so anyway, I was like, oh, that's nice. And he goes, oh, yeah, the last one sold for, I'm not even going to mention money because it would make you sick. The guy goes, <laughs> the guy goes, you know, I sold the white one for this, uh, but to you, the black one is this price. And I was like, oh, Jesus, don't do this to me now. Don't do this to me now on a Monday afternoon. I wasn't doing anything. I was hoovering the car. <laughs> and I was like, giving it serious thought. And I was saying the morning, I was like, wait, like, I was running through my head and he goes, oh, yeah, they're going to discontinue it next year. It'll immediately be worth more money and all this here shit and whatever. And I was like, fuck, is that a good investment? No, and then. Because I do like watches, but I go I go between, oh, that's fucking sweet, and to, you know, it is just a watch, like, and it, w- it will just be other <laughs> fellas going like this, oh, nice, that's all it's going to be. So, 
I was like, whatever. And then Maureen was like napping or something because she was wiped out with the old chemo. And then she woke up and I was like, here, what about this? Is it like a bit of an investment? And she was actually up for it. I couldn't believe it. I thought she'd be like, well, you know, I think more of an investment would just be give me the money. So she was like, no, it seems like a good idea. And, you know, and I was talking about it, talking about it. And then this is the conclusion I came to. And I know those Pride and Pinion, whoever's making their videos, they were showing them clips of this podcast. This is this is the this is a message, a PSA to a watch shop. I didn't want to buy, you know, my first luxury watch out of <laughs> basically boredom. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I didn't want to be like, oh, t- oh what you know, what big life event made you buy that? And I'd be like, well, I was just fucking bored during lockdown, wasn't I? Bought the watch. And I, that's why I didn't buy it. I will buy it at some point, but I would like it to be like, you know, I've sold out two Odysseys or something and, you know, it'd be a cool move to be like, yeah, I'm going for some brunch. Then I'm nipping around here to get a fucking luxury watch. And then I'll go on stage that night, play with thousands of people. That's that's a good story. I didn't want to just be like standing, you know, and my, sh- my shoes were wet because I was fucking, you know, washing the car and hoovering it out and just be on my phone with headphones going, I'll take it. And then all of a sudden have this watch. I didn't want to do that. Because there was no cool story behind it. So that's why I didn't have it. And then I woke up this morning after, you know, having slept on it. And I was like, what the fuck? Why would I? <laughs> like, why would you spend that money to watch? During a lockdown, you know what I mean? When the fucking apocalypse comes and you're stabbing your neighbors for fucking jerry cans of diesel. And you'd be like, Morty. Okay, instead of you killing my family and eating them, I'll give you this fucking Rolex. He's like, no good to me now. So what I'm saying is I'm buying bullion. Not gold. <laughs> Chocolate bullion. <laughs> He's got the, the worst ad- like uh, investment advice. Bro, you gotta buy fucking uh, zinc bullion. <laughs> so yeah, that's how bored I was yesterday. It was Halloween at the weekend too. That was fucking weird. We had, uh, Eddie dressed as a Corona bat. That went down well. I got uh, I got ready on about fucking ten minutes notice, and I was like, I'll I'll dress, you know, like infinite amount of fucking Hawaiian shirts. So I was like, I'll I'll dress as uh, Johnny Depp in uh, Fear and Loathing, you know. And the only difference between me and him is at least sixteen stone in weight, acting ability. And good looks, but apart from that, I was I was pretty fucking bang on. I think, uh, I basically just wore what I was wearing at the time and put a fucking weird hat on. So that was it. It's fucking. It's see having a, a child rips the it rips the crack out of your life totally. You know, you're like, let me get fucking hammered, and then you're like, I I literally I'm scared to get drunk because I will have to wake up tomorrow with this baby, and do I want the hangover? The answer is no. You know, so you end up just going to these parties. To, to, like you're literally there to like eat. You know, everyone's fucking drinking and having great crack. And you're like, yeah, this is great crack. Glad I, glad I got drunk. I mean, if I had a committed to any sort of real outfit, I'd have been raging because you're just like, yeah, it's all good. And then baby starts rubbing his eyes. You're like, well, he's tired. Let's go home. Some fucking Halloween that was unbelievable. But it was good crack. You know what I mean? It's good crack. Um. Also, what day was that when the Ireland match was on? It was like, everyone was like dressed up watching the fucking Ireland match. It was bizarre. You know, like the rugby's on. A, a rugby match happening in silence. And fucking Kane Healy got like, I don't know what happened to him, hitting the balls or something. And he starts dry heaving. Do you see that bit? Oh, yeah. He's like, and then your man Brian Moore was like, oh, he's got bulimia. And you're like, does he? <laughs> the fucking 22 stone ripped prop. I'm sure he does. That's how that that's how you end up looking. But you know, that's 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 what, how you look when you're. I actually saved the picture of him. You know, for a wank later. Yeah, bulimic, bro. The guy's fucking. He's what people talk about. Fitspirations. You know, you know, I could you could pull up a picture of some you know, like fucking Brad Pitt in Fight Club and be like, I'd like to look like that. I'll never look like that. But with a wee fucking, a wee, a wee course of fucking right, bro. I could probably look like that. You know what I mean? Big fucking shit coming out of the neck and all. I had a very fa- very famous quote from a rugby coach of mine when I was in school. And he goes, you can teach a player to play anywhere, but you're born a prop. And that was a big fat bastard saying that to me. Another f- big fat bastard. 
And he was like, we're, we're born props. I was like, cheers, bro. Anyway, it's weird watching rugby in fucking silence, isn't it? Speaking of fucking bulimic, uh, I've seen a picture of, um, also, you know, I was talking about, talking about finding time to do a podcast. If I haven't time to do a podcast, that sure as fuck means I haven't got time to, like, work out or do anything remotely exciting. And it was even more depressing when I went on Instagram the other day and saw a picture of Action Bronson. Have you seen him recently? Yeah. The guy, I mean, he was working out hard and then he shaved his beard off and he's like, yeah, I've got the jawline coming in. The guy's sexy, man. <laughs> and he, he, it said like, oh, jawline's coming in. What did it say? 249, feeling strong as ever. 249 pounds, bro. I'm fatter than Action Bronson. I'm also probably a clean foot bigger than him, but he's 249. I'm about 270 up in this hoe. Why is this crackling? Who knows? Anyway. Is your weird crackle? Oh, no, I just took my phone off that wire. Sorry, that was the Chinese trying to read my brain. As you don't. Oh, I'm not. No, I'm not even going to die. Not straight, will I? As if they give a flying fuck, you know? What are they harvesting anyway? The main things searched in the Pornhub this week. <laughs> Latina Milford Fat Hole. Like, what are they really collecting? I mean, unless you're doing some shady shit, you have no worries at all. Other than they'll be like, he look at watches a lot. But I don't know what accent that is. He look at the watches a lot. And the Milford Fat Hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I know people joke about a flat eye, but like, do they have to put like step in, in porn titles for the for to get any views on the algorithm whatsoever? <laughs> it's like step postman fucks step milf in the step asshole and step comes on her step face. Who <laughs> <laughs> ah! oh, here, do you know what a mukbang is? I heard someone use this term the other day and I was like, well, let me get 10 minutes alone to Google this. But it's not remotely... I mean, this is so fucking, like... Colin, this is so 2012. So, mukbang... I think it's... They spell it different over here. So, a mukbang is, like... Obviously developed somewhere in the old Asia. Where, um... You basically just film yourself eight loads of shit. And it's all ASMR. You know, so you're like, oh yeah, I bought myself fucking 400 nuggets here. And then, no, I I guarantee it's like all the rest of the internet where it's like, hey guys, it's Roy. I'm going to go to a mukbang. It's got 571 hits. And then this other guy's like, hi, today I'm going to eat, you know, 15 cucumber. It's like 17 million hits because there's some dude just ripping the pipe off himself in a fucking basement somewhere. And she's like, (laughs) The, the, the over like sexualization of the internet is Shut the fuck up. There's an ad for Manscaped. Oh my god Get out of my mind China Huawei to fuck <laughs> So here they are Oh these ones are re- Oh what the fuck is that Tastes like the sea We'll go start in now Me on the toilet It's a party now So that girl is obviously really uh, they're reacting to this girl, but the other girl must be like oh, one of the OG mukbangers. Me, digital max. But of course, yeah. You're letting all the flavor out. I feel like it's salty water. What are you doing? That's the good stuff. Yeah, I told you. I was so right. The good stuff. That's what I. It's all you know. It's it's like the the ones that are really getting the hits are like a wee small fucking Japanese girl in like a schoolgirl's outfit, eating some sort of cock shaped seafood, you know. Which and it's t- it's you know there's just some dude fucking you know just pulling himself into a point in his fucking you know one of those coffin apartments that you get in like Korea where there's like eighty thousand people living on one floor or or the girls eating like oh I'm gonna do a mukbang and it's like what is it it's just a fucking bucket of molten cheese and she's like ah I'm gonna do a mukbang just with fucking bacon baps that'll be my next video. Just me going, I was fucking mad Thursday. 
the internet's fucking out, uh, crazy like just every fucking suggested reel on that instagram page is just like you know like there's a girl <laughs> there's a girl doing fucking you know like a yoga headstand it's like please join my page be enlightened let's let's really work on our breathing and she's doing like the splits on a headstand wearing basically a band-aid over a vulva do you know what i mean <laughs> you're just like everyone cracks up with their show of nips on the internet and she's like here's what i had for breakfast yesterday if you want to stare up my pipe and then gives you the fucking like indian name of some position that she's doing this is the mountain goat there's something Bratislava. Always all those names. Um, we're taking a detour here. Needless to say. Uh, how long have I talked for there? 20 minutes. 20 minutes? I feel like I've been here for fucking three hours. Muck bang my ass. Um, also, just news to you guys. Wow. Wow, wow. Wow, wow, way wow. Uh, we, if if you've listened to this podcast for a while, there was <laughs> there was a famous um, clip from the podcast called Culture Strip Club, where Aaron McCann was like, "Why is there no Culture Strip Clubs?" And then, uh, or why is there no strip clubs and all that? And then we took the piss out of that for a long time. And recently, I was like, <laughs> "Let me, uh, let me." people kept saying you get a milkers t-shirt whatever and i was like right i'm gonna finally do it and uh i got in touch with jamie donnelly my my tattoo artist who i go to and i was like listen we're gonna do a welcome to milkers t-shirt would you like to design it for me and he's like sure (laughs) and uh i give him some specs you know i was like i want it to be i want to look like a sort of vintage t-shirt um I want the girl to be a larger lady with a fake leg. And he goes, are we talking prosthetic or are we talking pirate leg? And I was like, full-blown fucking wooden pirate leg. And he's like, no problem. Fishnets. And I was like, yes. He goes, do you want exposed nips or do you want tassels? And I was like, tassels. We want children to be able to buy this t-shirt. And uh, and sure enough, I was like, leave a couple of scrolls so that I can write, you know, welcome to Milkers, NI's original Culture Strip Club. And he's finished it already. Can you see that from there? <laughs> it says girls, 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 live nudes. And then it's got the uh, contactless. It's got a contact. <laughs> I might actually say to him, can you put the contactless, you know, tattoo on her arse? Because <laughs> the joke there was you wave the card over her fucking asshole and it, it beeps. Now, that's tremendous, isn't it? That is just unbelievable and that t-shirt will be available probably in the next couple of weeks because i'm saying that straight to the t-shirt guy and i had thought about uh doing some sort of charity thing you know with that t-shirt because it's a bit it's a bit novelty it's not like part of the, the the regular range i was thinking maybe like a christmas charity type thing because i'll tell you what guys it's rough out there you know we're over here we're doing podcasts we're getting sponsored by things we're, we're doing all right you know but there's literally people out there at fucking food banks and they work for the NHS. What's going on, Niall? Talk to me. It's a fucking... <laughs> I've seen, seen a picture and I was just like, yeah, that's that doesn't look right at all. You know, how could you be like working for the NHS and then also having to go to a food bank? Get it fucking sorted out, you Tory bastards! That's one of the other things fucking pissed me off the other day. Uh, you know, I wasn't able to shoot a sketch I wanted to shoot and it's probably just too late to do it now. Me and Mickey were going to be the hairy bastards, chefs. <laughs> what? Did I tell you this? No. Okay, so the, ske- <laughs> the sketch was basically because they were, you know, they were they were quitting uh, paying for you know p- anyone that was on benefits. They were going to stop the school dinners, and a lot of people were very much dependent on their kids being fed at school. And uh, the Tories voted against continuing that, which is class, isn't it? They're like, oh, could you, can you not just have Cameron Bear and fucking... I don't know why Richard Amber or D- David Amber is fucking getting in the mix there. But that's the type of shit they would say. Like, well, you don't just have S. Cargill for lunch now. Um, so, uh, what was my fucking point? Oh, yeah, so we were going to do this sketch, and it was called Tory Bites, hosted by the Hairy Bastards. <laughs> and it was just going to... I don't know whether we would do the, the fucking... The Geordie accent or not, like, well, I pet eat some fucking... But the Tory Bites, it was just like a load of post-apocalyptic uh, meals that you could feed your your children. And me and... Now, 
people should this is what i might do just a live stream of me and mickey texting each other because it was fucking pure fire let me tell you i was like i'm doing this sketch you know i was like it starts off by me going like you know um this is some of the post-apocalyptic fucking meals you can eat once uh the you know the uk has turned into what will now be known as what was it northeast korea <laughs> It was like people be eating grass, you know, like why did God give you an appendix if you're not eating fucking grass? Moving on to like, you know, people cutting up their shoes and boiling the leather. And you'd be like, here, the fucking shoes made of cows. Recycle it. Upcycle it into a fucking shoe burger. That got out of hand real quick. It was like, you get a voucher for a pizza, okay? But the voucher is, you know, delivered rectally from Prince Andrew. And he said, pizza under 15. Or what was it guaranteed under? What was it? Be there in under 15, no sweat. We were laughing. I said, with a side of private island dressing, we were laughing more. <laughs> we were fucking killing ourselves. And then it just, it's too late to put that up now. You know, that's last week's news. It moves too quickly. Everyone's fucking this. There's a terrorist attack in fucking Vienna. People are, six cars worth of cunts are just fucking shooting at people, killing them. And, uh, and of course, you know, it doesn't matter who dies nowadays. They'll be like, oh, did you hear about that in Vienna? It's terrible. I'm like, I don't see anyone giving a flan fuck about fucking... That's so over here. I I, I, mean, do you remember, I remember the George Floyd stuff. They'll be like, why is, there's fucking pillars choking cunts to death over here? Every fucking day on my street? Why the fuck... And this is an actual thing I read. Why the fuck would I give a fuck about some black in America? <laughs> <laughs> why would I give a fuck when our fucking turns being... Fucking choked to death every day over my fucking bailers because he's fucking selling heroin to children. And he's a fuck. He's a fucking angel. Wouldn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy's fucking. You know, selling drugs for ages. Just a complete piece of shit. Gets get gets killed and like he wouldn't have said fucking booty a goose. <laughs> he was a fucking angel. Sure enough, he had his demons, and by demons he mean, I mean, he fucking, you know, he sold gear to children. And he bit the fuck, <laughs> bit the fuck out of every girlfriend ever. You know what I mean? But he's the fucking, he was an angel. What was my point there? I was going to say something. Yeah, I didn't get time to shoot that fucking thing. Um... It's, it, you know, I was going to joke at the start of this that this was the election special, um... I haven't been following it at all. Anyone that I've listened to who might know anything about it is like, well, it's a bit of a toss-up. Even though they're predicting... I mean, it's like... You know, what's going to happen? Or you know, Isn't it funny that they're worried about mostly, like, the left-wing people? You know, all these Antifa type things? It's weird. It's a weird time where people are like, they're the people that are going to kick off if Trump wins again. The left, you know? The progressive left are going to go fucking nuts and... Start smashing the place up. And we want rid of police and all. It's fucking... It's strange. But I'll tell you what. Imagine Trump had grabbed your pussy at one point. And then... Or, you know, like years ago when he was just kind of a businessman and not really a celebrity yet. And he's, like, running fucking beauty pageants. And he's he's walking out the back where all the girls are getting changed. He's like, don't worry, I run the competition. It's all right. Just let me get a look at that fucking 90s beaver. You know, he's like, oh, come sit in my lap. And they're all like awkwardly, uh, okay. And, you know, pussy's getting grabbed left, right and center. And then cut to him just going, da, da, da. what is that dance? Da, 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 da. Just wanking two dudes in his face. Why are they playing that song too? Were people playing that over? Or was that legit him walking around listening to fucking YMCA? Legit? Legit? Oh. <laughs> also, he stands like a centaur. He's like, why is it, like his upper body? He's like way in front of his legs, isn't it? <laughs> da, 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 da. He goes to sleep every night with fucking <laughs> Melania just trying the fucking on swing. <laughs> Take me back. Where's she from? Take me back to fucking. Where is she from? Let's find out real quick. Where is Melania? Am I spelling that right? 
Trump from? Where is she from? <laughs> Take me back to Slovenia. <laughs> I will plow fields with my bare hands again, please. Don't make me have sex with this orange fucking bag of testes. Please, not again, please. Come into bed. You know he just slips his cock out of his fucking silk pajamas, doesn't he? You know, there's like blue silky pajamas and he just parts them and just... Eh. Do you know what it cracks me up when you get these older perverts? Is he, is he, is he doing a lot of fucking still, or does he just get off on being a perv? You know, if he was like seventy and he's like, "Listen, I'm a player. I'm a lifetime player. I'm slinging dick everywhere. I'm half in shape. You know what I mean?" Or is his life just like he just walks in, doesn't make eye contact, <laughs> eye contact with anyone, just pops his knob out of his silk boxers and stares at the wall, and somebody is just expected to suck him off? Uh, please take me back. Please take me back to Slovenia. I go back to my old job of artificial inseminating goats. Please. I do it with my hand on a stick. What a horrible... What a nightmare. What a fucking nightmare. How, how long before... What's the young, the young lad called? He's got a fucking stupid name. Is it Rebel or... What the fuck? It's like something you call a dog. Look at it. What's it? Trump's son. It's got. He's got such a dog name. Baron. Baron. Isn't that such a dog name? It's like that's what the that's what the president's dog should be called. Hey, I'm Baron Trump. How long before that guy just look at this? I mean, I don't want to slag kids, but I mean, for he'll kill someone. You know? Oh my goodness, Baron! What? What have you done? And he'd just be like sitting there, you know, on the phone, just like, well, my fucking <laughs> frappuccino didn't arrive quick enough. And they'd be like, this, this, you know, there's like an older black lady works in the fucking White House. She has worked here for 60 years. You can't stab her to death. <laughs> well, it wasn't quick enough. Big lad, though, isn't he? Tall? What a fucking, I mean, poor bastard. They all do, they all just look like, all, all the Trumps look like when three dwarfs get in one coat. That's what they look like, and they're all just like janky and like, hey, I'm a real person. That kid must be a fucking disaster, like, absolute nightmare. Look at his face. So is that supposed to be Melania's? Son? I mean, they all look like fucking family guy drawings. It's, it's ridiculous. Big lad, though. Tall as fuck. Anyway. Weird chats. Um, let me play this clip for you. I laugh my box off. Isn't it funny when Americans say, like, pint or something? You know when they say something like, hey, let's get a pint. And you're like, Ugh! Ugh! Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck off. I'm hooked up to the speakers. I do it every week. I do it every week. Welcome to the podcast. You know what I mean? Uh, no, it's a ton of milk chocolate. Milk. <laughs> now, this guy is a fucking just fat guy with a beard on TikTok who, I think he's an American guy. He must review sweets. Is he really poop? No. Now, I'll get the volume right one of these days. Bear with. Is he really poop? It's a tonics milk chocolate mallow. A fucking what? A what? It's a fucking tea cake. Funny. Now, how American is it to just overcomplicate what it is? It is a tea cake, and he's like, it's a, <laughs> it's a fucking milk chocolate. It's a tonics milk chocolate mallow. Is it really poop? No, it's a tonics milk chocolate mallow. <laughs> You're fuck. what a stretch, like, you're really fucking, uh, I mean, if you were breaking down fucking sweets, it would just wouldn't be half the crack, would it? Oh my god, is it a fucking nougat caramel oblong? It's a Mars bar. Sort your life out. You know? Fucking, like, oh my god, is it a fucking linear li line of fucking pyramid cocoa? It's a Toblerone, you fucking knobhead. 
<laughs> oh my god, is it four digits of chocolate wafer? It's a fucking Kit Kat. Get in your fucking mouth. Perfect dessert after you've eaten a pasty. The podcast is also sponsored by FlowCBDLTD.com. Everyone should be taking uh, CBD oil the way you would take a fucking vitamin C because it's a, it is classed now as a supplement and you put it in your body and it helps with fucking anxiety, weirdness, you know. It helps with inflammation, which I think is the number one side effect of it. You know what I mean? If you've got sore muscles from working out, you know, it does help you. Sl- it does make you sleep. Let me tell you something. You take some fucking CBD and get a hot bath, bro. You can't get out of the bath. You have to get a family member and they trail you out and you land on the floor like Wolf of Wall Street and then you, they cover you in tiles and you just fucking lie there till the morning. You're like, what happened? I did that once. I had the flu once. In school, it was more of a like gastro flu thing where I was shitting a lot. And I had a broken arm at the time. Nightmare. So, uh, I was very sick and then took a shot of fucking night nurse, which was totally unregulated by my parents, by the way. I was young. I was about 14 or 15. And they're like, take some night nurse. And I was like, how, mu- how much? And they're like, just enough till you don't wake up. Took a load of night nurse. I don't even think you can buy it anymore. It was like lean. I was t- taking lean when I was fucking 15. The broken arm. Take that and get a bath. I'm like, oh! Dying in the bath. Anyway, we've, t- we've went on a tangent there. FlowCBDLTD.com. Uh, they sponsor this podcast. Great bunch of lads. Um, uh, they... Uh, yeah, they started the the CBD company. We've got some new products today. Actually, you got the gummies. They're stronger. Str- they're more CBD in those than there is the drops. I do believe is that correct? Yes. Yes. Niall is a science guy. Uh, so yeah, got the gummies in there, which is you know I don't you can't really OD on CBD, but you can OD on sugar. And I'm gonna keep eating those. Um, but yeah, everyone should be taking it. It's good for the old inflammation. Um, it's good for like sore muscles. That's kind of what I would use it for. Uh, yeah. Buy it through the link wherever you're watching this. And if you're on the Patreon, there is a link there uh, to get... It's actually pinned on the Patreon page. Should be the top post. There's a code there to get you 10% off, guys. All right? FlowCBDLTD.com. Buy the gummies. Um, we'll hit some questions, Well, from the Patreon. I was going to split this up into another podcast. But once you sit down, it's over. You know, once I'm sitting here, I'm just like, fuck that, there the fuck. Now, I don't know why Patreon never fucking hot links the goddamn links. But anyway, our first message is from... uh, (laughs) What the fuck is that? What happened there? Huh? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Mukbang my ass. Let me see. What is this? Accept, Accept my cookies. Let me see. We have Pink Floyd at home. The Pink Floyd at home. Bro, what what is wrong with my life? What is happening here? Connect to the fucking... Oh my god. That's it. This can, it should be connected. What the... F- oh, it's on mute. Lift it, it's I know they break the wall. Hey, hey, chitterums, lift it, get salon. She'd be like, hey, priest, lift us, get salon. <laughs> the funniest bit's the fucking piano. It's like, hey, hey, hey. Um, that's hilarious. I'm going to do a Western here. Don't like Pink Floyd. <laughs> Don't, not into it. Do you like a Pink Floyd fan? Yes. Well, that tells you about all you need to know about that guy. Um, now, obviously, there are a lot of bands that are critically acclaimed, and for good reason. Pink Floyd are one of them. It's just not my thing. You know, I'm not taking fucking acid in my bedroom and staring at my hand. You know, put on that fucking... Everyone wears that t-shirt with a fucking prism thing on it. Put that on. First song was like, what, the, what is this? Fuck off. Trump or Biden? I've no idea. Trump will get it, die about a month in. Biden will get it, die about a week later. You know, where they're like, hey, what do you think we should do about this? I, I, think I shit my pants. 
Get Jim Carrey as Joe Biden to be the fucking actual president. I'd watch that. Connor O'Toole, have you seen Greg Wallace from MasterChef? Is looking absolutely shredded. I fucking did, you know. MasterChef, the professionals, is coming back, and I'm going to be fucking sitting at the TV, cock in hand, ready to go. Big fan of it. But yeah, he, one of the famous quotes uh, I was watching, like the last series, I managed to get a stream somewhere, and the guy was like, uh, he's like I've lost a bit of weight, and I'm looking to put it back on. You know, and then he stuffed his face. But he is, he's, he's looking shredded. Um, but you probably find, like, you know, you get a guy like that who's, he's, you know, he's probably in reasonable shape, and then, you know, his job is just fucking eating luxurious food and drinking wine all day, and eventually it catches up with you, and he's like, all right, I'm a bit fucking fat now. Yeah, oh, yeah, fucking nice. I like fucking beige desserts. That's what I like. Fucking beige and brown desserts. Oh, I just wanking. <laughs> That'd be a good episode of that if he was just pulling his wire. Oh, yeah. What's that, a fucking velute? You dick. Yeah, he's looking ripped. Um, Australian cunt getting arrested in 1990 is absolutely hilarious. He sounds like commanding st- stage actor. I think that's... Uh, I think I know what that is before I even watch it. Is that the fucking uh, succulent Chinese meal? That guy? <laughs> I bet you it is. It is! Welcome back to Colin <laughs> Reviews! We should get a fucking sting for this. <laughs> Classic vi- What do we call it? Classic viral clips. The classic viral review. I see you know your judo, sir. I love us doing sit down and fucking. Gentlemen, this is Democracy Manifest. Democracy Manifest. <laughs> Have a look at the headlock here. Yeah, See that chap over there? Yeah. Get your hand off my penis! <laughs> 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 Welcome back to Classic Viral Review! <laughs> 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 Why did you do this to me? Get some cups. For what reason? What is the charge? Eating a meal? <laughs> I'm sucking a Chinese meal! Someone told me the backstory of that. Like, he, he was known in wherever that is in Australia for just going for meals and just getting up and just leaving. Respect, dine and dash. A succulent Chinese meal. Oh, that's a nice headlock, sir. Oh, ah, uh, yes. I see that you know your judo well. Good one. And you, sir, are you waiting to receive my limp penis? Now, dare get your hands off me. Ta-da! And farewell. One cup, look. <laughs> shut they shut the door on him. Um, uh, tremendous. I mean, I don't. What the fuck is he doing? Oh, here's the here's the actual guy. Look. Ah, eating a meal. A succulent Chinese meal. There's the guy many years later, and many many balls of wine later. By the looks of it, he's a painter. Pretty. Oh, he's done paintings of it. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh well, guys, I was mind. Um. Get your hands off my penis! Say that to Maureen about four times a day. Get your... In public, just for the crack, though. <laughs> That'd be a funny thing, just walking along. But it's not so much... There's no one really in public now, but you know if you're in a shop, like, Get your hands off my penis! Her favourite thing to do is... When, and it, it happens to, like, a lot of people in her family. When she... If you're, if you're out walking, say, like... Say you're, like, let's go to the beach. And you're walking along the beach, it's a bit windy. Her eyes water like mad. And everyone in her family does they just start crying nearly. But and then she will literally have like mascara run down her face and she will jokingly walk away from me like ah, don't touch me like this here. Uh which is really funny in public. Because of course I absolutely look like a guy who punches his wife. I absolutely look like a racist and a drug dealer and a sex trafficker and all those other things. I I actually look like all those things. So, uh, it's a funny joke that she plays. She's like, ah, da, 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 with the fucking tears run down her face. And then, uh, you know, I go, she's only joking. And then I actually do hit her. No, I don't really. Um, how's the walking training going? Alfie is a couple of months older than Eddie. It's a whole new world of pain with boys. 
Uh, how's the walking trick? Well, he can stand, you know, he, he, he like stands and like a drunk guy and then he'll get down and crawl and then pull himself up and something and then just stand again. So probably in a couple of weeks, he, he might be able to string a few steps together, but he just, it's the, it's the fucking wrecking around that he does. He's just like strong. Like we, we've got a little playpen thing. We throw him in that when we're in the kitchen, you know, cooking dinner, you just sit in there and he'd climb up the bars by grabbing the top, doing like a pull up and then his toes, which you lose this skill as an adult, being able to grip things sideways with your toes like that. You just grab the bar and like, and just walk up like, like a fucking chameleon. You need a dog. Do- I suggest it. A dog crate is what you need for a, for a one year old boy. It was frowned upon. Some dirty blues for you, Colin, Mister Gary Clark Jr. Uh, what do you think of Gary Clark Jr.? Very good. Really? Yeah. Okay. He's no. Hunk Papa. Not his song, though. <laughs> <laughs> Although it says numb there, but... Is that not his cover of fucking... What do you call it? Come Together. Come Together. He's a bit like... <sighs> It's cool, but do you know what it is? I think he gets a lot more like, oh, this guy's cool, because people are like, oh, man, he's like the new fucking Hendrix. You know? Yeah. They're like, oh, he's a cool black guy playing the guitar. But when the, when the when the opportunity presents itself, or it's like a big fucking build up to, you know, some big big drum roll, and then like, here's the big solo, and then you're like, ah, not great. Not great. Do you know what I mean? Do, yeah. do, do you ever hear, you know, you get songs where you're like, you know, there's a load of band, like there's there's a load of like Kings of Leon songs and stuff. You're like, you know, it's real fucking bouncy music, and you're like, wait, and then it's like, here's the solo, and it's just like, ah, ah, ah. you know, it's like, you know what I mean? You're like, what? Let's all get get someone really stuck in there, and all his songs are a bit like that, where it's like, here it comes, ah. you know, crap, Rage Against the Machine. Yeah. Here's the solo. Well done, Tom. You know what I mean? Fucking weirdo. But yeah, this I mean, the music's cool, you know what I mean? If I was, like, walking, you know, slow motion through my kitchen, that's pretty cool music. It's cool. I don't know. But I, there's nothing jumps out at me, you know? It's just, it's just all... You know, I feel like if we plugged a big fucking fuzz pedal into your guitar and fucked about in the office here, it would sound not dissimilar. You know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a being mean. <laughs> I'm just racist. Any update on the granola in the cupboard? It's still fucking there, bro. We, you know, we had an argument about that. Maureen Van be, being, you know, uh, just a victim of influence on the internet. Oh, this gives you good gut health. Much is it? Fourteen ninety nine a box. Still there. A bo- a box of fucking gravel. What unsupervised childhood activities did you do that probably should have killed you? Oh, Jesus Christ. Plenty. I nearly died a bunch of times when I was younger, drowning in, in a pool on holiday in Ibiza, which is a, a story I did in stand-up. Um, fucking, we used, to just ju- we used to just jump off everything. I remember jumping off uh, a shed we would, onto nothing. You know, we are pretending we were wrestling, just jumping off there, setting fire to shit. The borderline got out of control many times. We used to climb fences into these, like, place where there was, like, a big generator and, you know, skateboard down this hill. And I came off a skateboard at, it had to have been 45 mile an hour and skidded into the fucking, literally, I mean, it was, like, something from a nightmare. There was, like, two hedge hedges that were very overgrown on each side of this thing. And they were all, like, thorn bushes and shit. And I fucking came off and just, and slid right in under it. And it was, like, fucking hooked in my trousers and everything. And I was like, someone's going to have to fucking just pull me out of this. And just gradually people were pulling fucking thorns off, like, my clothes and my skin before I got out. It was hectic. Took the, took the trucks off a skateboard, snowboarded down this hill. 
slowly started to turn sideways like this. You know, you obviously can't cut up this, the powder uh, on a skateboard the way you would on a snowboard. Started to turn a bit like this, hit a bump, went just fucking right on my neck backwards like someone chokeslammed me. Uh, was it, you know, was in fucking a car crash or went through the two middle seats, hit my head in the windscreen. Fucking, uh, yeah, a whole load of cool shit. Yeah, I nearly died a bunch of times. Um, probably should have killed you. Loads of stuff. People were like, stop playing around with that fucking giant battery. You know, it's got battery acid in it. And of course, I was like, I don't believe you. I'm going to smash it open with a hammer. We've got battery acid all over our hands. That was dodgy. Um, yeah, loads of shit. There was the fucking nonstop. I was, I was just constantly getting fucking stitches and all sorts of shit going on. So, yeah. Um, do you tip your postman at Christmas? Uh, is that a thing? Do people tip their postman? Or is that a very American thing? Um, I don't know. I might, I might look into it. Although it's very much... It's not really the dumb thing anymore now. They just fucking... They'll just be like, Is this your hedge number? And I go, yep. And then they just fucking throw the thing over the hedge. I'm not touching it. Fuck that. Um, no, because, uh, you know, we rarely see the postman, to be honest. You know, if you lived in, like, a little terrace house and the guy's knocking the door and you see the cunt all the time, you know, we live in the country, it's just like, you go down to the wee box and you're like, oh, there's fucking bills. Pretend I didn't see that. His name's not Bill, actual bills. Does Niall dislike when people pronounce his, his name like the River Nile? I hate it. And that's from a guy called Brian. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do, actually. I think it's... Uh, what do you say? Nile. What do I say? Nile. But people... Nile? Like that? Like, and I, I find it's, uh, it's usually a Protestant thing. <laughs> well, I didn't <laughs> know this was going to take this sort of fucking turn. <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed. Nile. Uh, yeah. It's, yeah. Mm. I don't like... I don't mind, really. But like... If it's, if someone's like continuously yeah me Nile, I'd be like Nile. You see, I'm paranoid now that that have that, that that's been pointed out. Nile, Nile. That's how I would say it, Nile. Yeah. That's so that's if right. You say it quickly, it doesn't really matter anyway. Yeah. It's like no. Nah. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that guy cracks up too. Sorry, Nile. Uh, <laughs> Nile. I feel I feel like it's harder to say Nile. It is. Is it, maybe it's more of a Belfast, like a Belfast yeah, it's, accent it's thing. Belfast. Yeah. yeah. Nell! But then I'll get fucking Callan. <laughs> you know, like it's C-A-L-L-E-N. That was most of my fucking childhood. Cal. Worst name ever. Um, If you could pick one movie or TV show universe to live in, what would you choose? <sighs> hmm. I don't know. I would need to think about that. I need to do a bit of research and be like, what what TV or mu- movie universe is the most time spent in like a sunny, you know, beach environment with a load of girls with big oily holes? Because whatever that is, that one. If it can it be a music video, because you could just be like the big pimp and music video. That's where I would like to live. You know, big pimp and spending cheese. You know what I'm saying? Uh. I don't know what I mean. If the if if there were if the music was still modern, Piggy Blinders, you know, I'd like to be walking around like Black Sabbath playing all the time, and then just fuck a bunch of dirty bitches who definitely have the the clap. That's what you did back in the day. If you didn't get a toothache and fucking you know get an infection in your brain and die by the time you were twenty, you were just banging clapped up women. Is that where the term clapped out comes from? You bang her, she's clapped out, and then that just moved on to mainly exclusively cars. She's fucking clapped out, sir. <laughs> oh, I'm freezing. We're starting to enter the winter now in this office, and there's absolutely no heating in it, so we're going to have to get a space heater. And the baby was sick all over my hoodie, so I had to take that off. So now we're sitting here, nipped out. Nipped out. Um, <clears throat> what were the names... What were the names books... Yourself and your lady discussed on the last podcast. They sounded well worth a read, Connor Dolan. Um, oh, for fuck's sake. There was like a Bruce Lipton one. 
biology of belief or something like that. And then there was Joe Dispenza. He doesn't have many, like, but if you looked it up, it's like, you know, I forget the name of it. Like, the art of trying to not be your fucking loser self. You fucking waste of space. Can't. I'll get her to do a post. Follow her on Instagram. She's an influencer now. She gets sent gifts daily. Th- where are my gifts? Nowhere. You fucking pieces of shit. She gets sent stuff. People don't even send. Don't even worry about it. Just take all her fucking merch. Take it. We just want you to have it and be comfortable. And then people send me like a fucking, you know, like a badge and be like, uh, listen, if you could do a series of six videos and nine posts about that over the next month and a half in exchange for this one fucking badge that we make. For fuck's sake. Or McCluskey. Uh, Aaron, Mickey and Shane. You've got the fuck one, marry one, kill one. I mean... I'd pro. I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean, out of pure hygiene reasons, I'd probably fuck Shane. I'd, I'd probably fuck Anne Marie Shane and then kill him and then just get myself out of the whole scenario. Because if I'm in a relationship uh, or fucking Mickey or Aaron, you know I'm doing all the work. You know I'm doing all the work. Is Shane has a bit of cardio going on. <laughs> Although he does have Crohn's, so there'll be no butt stuff. Why'd I answer that? You know what I mean? It's a, yeah, well, someone sent me a YouTube link there. It didn't work, so thanks. Um, oh, wait a second. It's because I included the text. Why is? Why do these not? I mean, no, I should definitely set this up pre-podcast. Let me see. Pre-roll. It's Friday here at BOTB, and we're about to... Free ad there for a car, please. That's another thing. Everybody has a raffle company now. Don't they? It seems like the new hustle. It's like, it's only £2 to enter and we give away £8. You know? And there's like fucking 20,000 people enter. And like, congratulations, Sandra's our winner. She wins £8 and I've made fucking 30 I'm going to play this and not be able to fucking monetize this podcast. I, I, I never do. Now, now you have a degree in what? Uh, music technology. Music technology. Make my fucking voice sound like this. Welcome to the General Barnabas. Yes. By the way, so so fucking German or wherever the fuck they're from to just be like. So, guys, 2020, what rhymes with 20? Not very much. Penny? (laughs) The old expression in Germany, I don't give a penny. (laughs) Fuck 2020. (laughs) (laughs) What What if this pandemic happened next year? And they're like, what rhymes with 21? I don't know. Plenty bum? It is plenty bomb. 2021. <laughs> Scooter, are they the slipknot of hardcore? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's very accessible, isn't it? It's like the real hardcore people be like, it's not that good. But if you're casual, you're just like, it hits all the buttons for me. <laughs> that big fucking. <laughs> Talking through the year. <laughs> Boris is a nightmare. <laughs> Trump, what the fuck? You know? R.I.P. George Floyd. Don't eat bats. <laughs> it's good to see Annie Lennox uh, keeping herself busy these days. Anyway, that's a joke. Well, look at her, would you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Make my voice sound like that. (laughs) 
I bet you this is a scenario where, you know, he's played a gig at a club and there's this fucking like 21 year old who's an absolute screamer. He's like, oh my God, you're from the band Scooter? And he's like, yes, I am! Uh, they're cool to hang out with you sometime. And then all of a sudden the, the guy's 55 and he's like, I got this young girlfriend. And then he's like, I'll make you famous. Can you sing? And she's like, yes, I can. Can you? Yes. Wait for it. By the way, such a bad cut there. You know, if you were to watch, if you were to see this, watch what she goes to sing there and the music, the, the actual lyrics don't kick in for like a split second. You see? Uh. See what I'm saying? Got to cut away. Painful. Cut away to flames coming out of that thing again. There's a lot of, there's a lot of fucking about when all you want to hear is that, that drop, you know, it's all like, get the, skip to the good bit. Do you know if you're watching porn then they'll just be like, this is a compilation of just people getting their face jizzed on. That's, that's what I want with my hardcore music. Don't give me all the fucking storylines in between. It was a tough year. No free meals. Fucking bloody blah, blah. It should just be <laughs> non stop fucking <laughs> cum shots. <laughs> Night. <laughs> Welcome back to Color Reviews Hardcore Music. Now, that girl, she can't sing, but she would get all of my manscaped pipe. You've shot a few music videos, have you? Yeah. Yeah. Very sad, isn't it? I feel like all music videos should just be a recording of a live performance because sometimes, like, uh, you know, all those, like, hip-hop pages, like, fucking No Jumper and all that, you know, they'll, they'll show, like, oh, Baxter, you know, check out how many chicks this guy had at his fucking video shoot. And the music is literally playing, you know, like, fucking, <laughs> like, about this loud. And there's a fucking dude, like, throwing money all over the place, and this girl's just, like, just twerking. <laughs> you know, he's just twerking, and it's not even that loud, and it's three o'clock, and it's Tuesday, and she's like... <laughs> and then they're, like, cut, and the guy's like, sweet, what are we doing for lunch? Asda? You know what I'm saying? So embarrassing. But same as that, he's like, fuck 2020! And they're just in a warehouse, you know? Sad. Um, but anyway, how many hits? Uh, two and a half million. Mm, not crazy. I thought it would be more. <coughs> Any chance our boy now could get a mic so he can chime in? No. <laughs> well, as we've realized today, he hasn't shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, we we call him Mighty Nile. Sorry, Nile. Nile. Someone's ringing me there, I bet you that's a sofa place. Well, we've rang Taiwan and it's going to be another 12 weeks. I sh should I answer that? No, I don't want to. I don't know who it is. You've had a rough day. What's the playlist you're sticking to chill and what does it contain? Oh my God. Weird question. Um, I don't know. I don't listen to a, an awful lot of chill out music. You know, I like to, I like to fucking rage it up, man. You know, there's very little, like, um, what was that shit you, I put on the other day? And I, I was I was showing you the artwork. I was like, oh, this, I like the artwork in this. And you're oh, like, oh, yeah, uh, good album. Volcano Core. Yeah. Hipster. If you want a soundtrack when you're making your fucking artisan candles at home, that's the shit. You know, when you're hand-stitching wallets that you've no money to put in, that's the... I, I went to buy a wallet once in, in a market in Glasgow, and I was like, they could, like a real fucking rustic, you know, little money folder thing. And uh, I was like, how much is this? And the woman was like, 80 pounds. And I was like, I don't have 80 pounds. If I bought this for 80 pounds, I'd have no pounds to put in this. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? I'd be putting a fucking one boss pass on this. Have you read any good books lately that you would recommend? No, I am a literate. Would you ever release an autobiography? And if so, what what would you call it? What would I call my autobiography? Now, the 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 title of the of it would be called "Just Listen to the Podcast." That's what it would be called. Um, I don't know. I mean, at what point do you stop? You, you know, like most people write something when they retire, don't they? I don't feel like I've done anything really yet. You know, so it would have to be picking a point where you, you fucking stop, where you can actually write some interesting shit. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, would I release an autobiography? I mean, you just always get the vibe that these autobiographies are just a fucking money grab, which is what it would be. But I can't, I can't. I don't know how I would go about it. I don't know where I would find the time or what the fuck, who would give a shit. So, I don't know. I'd maybe do a blind boy and just like, you know, imagine I just come out of nowhere and was like, this is my erotic novel. What if I just get into erotica? That'd be, you know, I think I could do that. You know, it's not, if you look at all those like Bestie McD videos where there's very, very creative and descriptive words for, you know, penises and whatnot. Maybe I'd just write some funny erotica. You know? Fifty, sh- what would we call it? Fifty wanks a day. <laughs> yeah, just, just, you know, you it, it, it reads quite sexy, but then you just throw in the odd thing, you know. She was lying on the bed, undressed, exposed bosoms. Her face clearly depicted the fact that she was hurting for a squadron. <laughs> <laughs> he plunged his index finger deep into her throbbing anus. She squealed with delight. <laughs> he then... Sw- <laughs> Forcefully plunged his penis in behind said finger. She was not prepared. When he removed that penis, it looked like a smoker's finger. (laughs) (laughs) He gently caressed her bosoms and decided it was time to slip the mitt. And he was <laughs> clawing away at her like he was trying to get his change from a vending machine. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it sounded like a bulldog drinking out of a tin bowl. Heard you talking with Dave about getting on getting John Zoo on the podcast at some stage. Did you see his antics on Facebook recently? He is openly anti-mask and thinks COVID is a conspiracy. A guy from Portadown, is he? I don't think he's from Portadown to be honest, mate. Uh, started oh right sorry started argue arguing with him on Facebook about it, and he ended up calling John Zoo a clown and photoshopping a clown face over John's. I don't think his real name is John Zoo. I think it's Johnny. I think. Anyone that liked the Photoshop picture, John sent them a private message on Facebook calling them tramps and saying, I will find you, ended up making his account private and deleting everything. But the moral of the story is, if he's an idiot and too much weed might be bad for you. <laughs> well, I don't know anything about any of that, to be honest. But um, no, I didn't see that. I, mean, I don't have Facebook on my phone anymore. And that's, it's not a conspiracy thing. It's just like, I don't use it. And it is a bit fucking cesspool Like, you'll put something up and people are commenting on it where they're not really followers. You know, it's just popped up on their timeline. They're like, fuck, that's a shit. And you're like, who the fuck are you? You know what I mean? You get two staffies as a profile pic. 
No, <laughs> guy's, got, guy's got a ten of Magners as a profile pick. <laughs> is this shit? Is this what passes? I love that one. Is this what passes as funny? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I seen your clip from a fucking you know arena show with three and a half thousand people in it. Does this pass as funny? Yeah, bro. Unfortunately, uh, Biden versus Trump in an MMA match. Who's got? If you get your money on, probably Trump. You know, Trump has wrestling experience. Have you seen him in the WWF or E or whatever the fuck it is? You know, um, yeah, Biden is gonna fucking you know. Just be eating his fucking his pureed apples someday and just fucking die. Decrepit. What about Obama slinking that that three pointer the other day? There you go, everybody. Just like I would, <laughs> just like a fucking drone drone strike on a wedding. Swish. <laughs> See you later, farmhouse in fucking Afghanistan. Swish. You know what I mean? Air Obama. That's what they call him. Ever think of doing a big live video podcast like your mom's house or Two Bears podcast during all this shit? You're Mickey or Aaron uh, doing weird shit. Can't think of anything better. Big live video podcast. I mean, they were doing. Did I send you that? It was like a drive-through gig, and they they had all, everyone from the podcast like doing stand-up and stuff like that. No. We. I mean, it's. I just. <laughs> big live po- I mean I've done numerous live podcasts for sure but there's something weird about like now where it's just like I'd rather just like what's the difference between just doing the content like doing a podcast maybe even with a small audience or something and just releasing it as content instead of why you know I don't think live adds anything to something unless you're fucking there I don't think it adds anything to the actual podcast but we should have a think and try and do something cool um thought about maybe like a live streamed podcast or something like that but once again what's the fucking difference who knows unless you can answer questions live and stuff i don't know but i'm dying to do some new content and stuff so it's worth it's something worth thinking about um the obviously at the minute it's fucking you shouldn't really be having any sort of guests on so i don't know that was indeed the final question, so I think we'll we'll wrap it up. Um, another, everyone should check out that Comedy Store documentary. It's like on, sh- you should be able to just get a stream of it online. If you're a comedy fan, it's uh, about the history of uh, the Comedy Store in Los Angeles, which is fascinating. The amount of f- fucking superstars that have come out of there. But uh, yeah, check that out. We're gonna get the fuck out of here. It's freezing. I'm gonna put a jumper on. Um, yeah, that's it. We should get another podcast recorded during the week. Um, cheers to our sponsors. Manscaped.com. Go on there if you're going to buy this for someone for a gift or buy yourself. Gift it to yourself, you know. There's no better self-help than a smooth pouch. You know. Self-love, as they say. Shave your pipe. Um, Manscaped.com. Use the code GenBand1 for 20% off. Flow CBT. Slow CBD LTD as well for the CBD. And that's about it. We'll get out of here. Will we? I'm going to enjoy myself a Tonic's uh, milk chocolate mallow. Probably just have two coffees. Right. Great times, guys. See you next week. Goodbye.